The diamond ring that Travis Kelsey was holding in his sweaty hand mirrored the bright lights of Arrowhead Stadium. He had been working on the best way to ask Taylor to marry him for weeks. The crowd went wild when the Chiefs won, which set the stage for his big move. Taylor's eyes were sparkling with joy as she walked down to the field. Travis's heart was racing as he got down on one knee and held out the ring box. Taylor, he said first, his voice heavy with emotion. You're the touchdown of my life. Will you marry me? The crowd's confused whispers were the only sounds that broke the silence. Taylor's bright smile broke, and a flash of uncertainty appeared in her eyes. Travis. She said slowly, her voice almost a whisper. Time was skewed, and each second felt like it went on forever. Travis's mind was racing as he desperately tried to figure out what was going on. Had he gotten her thoughts wrong? Did the time not work out? Oh my god, Taylor gasped, her eyes going wide with shock. That's not my size. Travis felt sick to his stomach. After careful thought, the ring was way too small for Taylor's finger. And a wave of shame went through him as he realized it. He struggled to find the right words, and the well-rehearsed message he had prepared just disappeared. I... I can change the size. I swear I had it measured. Taylor's shock turned into a laugh, and the stress in her shoulders left her body. Travis, she said with a laugh, it's okay. What matters is the thought. Travis gasped for air as he stumbled to his feet, feeling relieved. He smiled sheepishly as he did so. So, is that a yes? Taylor smiled, and her eyes lit up with love. Of course it's a yes, you goofball. As Travis put the ring on Taylor's pinky finger, the crowd went wild with cheers. The ring was a symbol of their flawed but undeniably perfect love story. It wasn't the idea he had in mind, but it was theirs, a fumble that turned into a score. The crowd's roar faded into the background as they kissed. Their hearts were beating in time with each other in a rhythm of love, laughter, and the hope of spending the rest of their lives together. There was a victory chant from the Kansas City Chiefs going through the stadium, and star tight end Travis Kelsey was taking it all in. But tonight was different. He wasn't just excited about the game, he was also looking forward to a moment that would change his life that he had carefully planned. Taylor Swift, his lover and worldwide superstar, was in the stands and didn't know what was in store for her. As the crowd thinned out, Travis walked toward the 50-yard line with a velvet box safely put in his pocket. A spotlight followed him and lit the way to Taylor, who looked on with a mix of interest and joy. It seemed like out of nowhere, a microphone appeared and was thrust into Travis's hand. The stadium went silent. Taylor, he said, his voice a little shaky at first, you've brought me joy in a way I never thought possible. You're the love of my life, my best friend, and my crime partner. I want to ask you this in front of everyone. He got down on one knee, and the box opened to show a beautiful diamond ring. But instead of the happy tears he had imagined, Taylor's eyes grew wide with fear, and her face turned pale. She let out a horrified gasp. She stuttered, Travis, and her voice was hard to hear. I... I can't. Everyone in the stadium went quiet, and their hearts sank along with Travis's. When he looked up at Taylor, the confusion quickly turned into numbing pain. He stumbled as he tried to stand up again, and the satin box fell from his shaking hands to the ground with a soft thud. Taylor, what's wrong? He said in a whisper, his voice heavy with emotion. Tanya shook her head and tears came into her eyes. I'm truly sorry, Travis. I love you, but this makes me feel bad. As the light went out, Travis was left alone in the dark. The crowd's roar had been replaced by a creepy quiet. He stumbled out of the stadium, which had been full of life but now felt like a cold, empty grave. He could hear the confused whispers of the people who were still there, but their words were lost in a background noise. The next few days were a blur of sad news stories and camera flashbulbs. Travis went home to be alone because his once bright world was now covered in a grey fog of sadness. Even though it hurt, he knew he had to respect Taylor's choice, even though it broke his heart a million times. The wound got better over time, but it left a scar of sad and happy memories. Even though the big proposal failed, their love for each other didn't go away. 
Travis Kelsey learned that love could change into a different kind of love that valued friendship and respect more than anything else, even when it was turned down. The stadium lights went out, giving the field a soft, dreamy glow. At the 50-yard line, Kansas City Chiefs star tight end Travis Kelsey stood tense up. It was tonight. He was going to ask Taylor Swift, the love of his life, to marry him. The Jumbotron came on and showed a montage of their times together including awkward looks at award shows, fun dates, and quiet nights spent cuddled up on the couch. Taylor sat in a private box and watched with wide eyes and a small smile on her face. Travis took a deep breath, his heart beating fast in his chest, and his speech began. Tyler, I knew you were the one as soon as I met you. Your help means the world to me, and I love you very much. I can't picture anyone else being my life partner. People in the crowd held their breath because they were so excited. Taylor's eyes sparkled with tears that she hadn't cried yet. Travis got down on one knee and held a silk box tight. Taylor Allison Swift, will you marry me? There was an eerie silence after that. Taylor lost his smile and got a look of shock and confusion instead. The crowd whispered, their joy giving way to confusion. Travis, Taylor said in a voice that was almost a whisper, I, I don't know what to say. Travis felt his heart sink. This wasn't how he thought they would react. Taylor, what's wrong? Taylor stood up, and her eyes didn't move. I love you, Travis. I do, you know. But getting married? I'm not ready for that. The crowd let out a gasp. Travis felt like he was going to throw up. But, but I thought, we talked about this. We did, Taylor said, her voice a little shaking. But now things are different. After those talks, I'm not the same person I was before. Travis, I need some time. It's time to figure things out. As Taylor spoke, tears filled her eyes and made her speech sound heavy. I'm truly sorry, Travis. I didn't mean to hurt you. Travis stared at Taylor, not sure what to think. He thought someone had punched him in the gut. He managed to say, I understand, but it was hard to hear. People in the crowd were shocked and silent as Travis slowly stood up, holding the engagement ring in his hand. As he put it back in the box, one tear ran down his face. His heart hurt as he looked up at Taylor. He said, I love you, Taylor, in a voice that was almost a whisper. I always will. He turned around and left leaving Taylor standing there with tears running down her face. When the stadium lights came back on, they made the empty field look very bright. There was no longer any magic in the night. Instead, there was sadness and doubt.